is Christina, and I'm wearing a lab coat because lab coats make people more trustworthy. So I was on the Face Vine earlier today, and I saw a really interesting news article where a man was suing Pepsi. What this man claimed was that he bought a Mountain Dew from a vending machine, then he opened the Mountain Dew can, drank some of the Mountain Dew, and it tasted terrible, so he spit it out. He got a styrofoam cup, took the Mountain Dew, poured the Mountain Dew into the styrofoam cup, and out plopped a mouse. Pepsi said that this could not be because the mouse would have dissolved. There wouldn't have been a whole mouse plopping out into a styrofoam cup. Experiment time! This is the perfect opportunity to do some kind of experiment with Mountain Dew. I must admit that I do have a little bit of a conflict of interest. I love Mountain Dew. Does Mountain Dew really dissolve mice? Really? And not only does it dissolve mice, but does it dissolve mice in a way that is different from other substances like plain water or lemon juice? So we've devised an experiment. The only size mouse that could reasonably be poured out of a can of Mountain Dew would be a pinky mouse, which is a little baby mouse. So that's what we got. So you can see these mice can fit reasonably well into a can of Mountain Dew. And since some people were saying that a little bitty mice couldn't have crawled into a Mountain Dew can, I also got adult mice just to be safe. Here are our experimental jars of science. We've got the jar of Mountain Dew, of course, the jar of lemon, corn syrup, and water, a control, which will have no liquid in it of any kind, we'll just drop a mouse in there, tap water, of lemon water, of sugar, lemon, and water. Basically what we're trying to do with the sugar, lemon water, and the lemon, corn syrup water is approximate Mountain Dew without it actually being Mountain Dew. So as you can see, our mice are all now in their respective little jars. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour Mountain Dew into these mice cups and then seal them up. Forty-six grams of sugar. I can actually measure that. Forty-six grams. Oh, that's well, six grams. That's seventeen grams. Nope, too many grams. There's this much sugar in one can of Mountain Dew. Although, actually, we don't have a full can in there, so I'm going to use probably a little less. I'm just going to sort of approximate, remove like a third or something. Sugar and lemon, there's some sugar for you, little mousey. Oh, yeah. Why am I doing that? And then we're going to need 36 grams of corn syrup. Actually, I had mice on my hands. I probably shouldn't have put that in my mouth. I'm not sure what quantity of lemon juice to add, so I'm just gonna kind of guess at what might make that color happen. Oh god, we're almost out of lemon juice. You're gonna have to put that no lemons were harmed in the making of this film. No lemons were harmed in the making of this film. That's not true. <laughs> lemons were harmed. 
Depends on your operational definition of harmed. We're going to give all these mites a good shake. We'll see what happens after a week. These mice will be placed out of any direct light. I'm going to put them in my basement, which is nice and cool. And I think actually the mice were probably in the Mountain Dew can for about a year. You'll just have to stick around to see what happens. This type of experiment does not pass the type of muster that one would expect in, say, professional medical journals. My study has several limitations. One, this is clearly not a blinded study. I know exactly what are in these jars, but I think that the biological effect will be clear despite my lack of blinding. We were not able to get the pH for the Mountain Dew because we bought the wrong type of pH testing kit and we're kind of lazy. <laughs> the Mountain Dew that we opened and put in there was not just recently bottled. We think that we're approximating the circumstances pretty close for something that will at least be really interesting. And there you have it. We have all of our mice in all of our jars. We are going to put these mice down in my basement and we'll check back in a week and see what happens. Shut up! Experiment time! 